communication um, is even more important than the actual science that we do. The numbers that we crunch um, are not difficult for us, but the, the science um, really involves being able to communicate between different fields. So I'm a statistician and I work mainly with biologists and medical doctors and I work on cancer and HIV and various very difficult um, subjects which are extremely complex. And we work together in teams and one of the main challenges has been the communication problem. Even if you're very, very good with numbers, you have to also understand how to tell your audience what results you obtained. And it can be very exciting to see all of a sudden a phenomena, you make a big scientific discovery, and it would be very frustrating not to be part of the communication. And sometimes people get frustrated, in fact, because in our field we are very much sort of geeky, nerdy, and sometimes it's the geeky, nerdy people don't get the credit for the discoveries they make because it's the communicators who realize, oh, I, you know, I can tell this story. And they go out and they tell the story instead of the person who made the discovery. So I think that it's really important for students to realize that if they want the gift of making the discoveries um, to be recognized, they have to be the ones who can tell the story. So the first part is to write a diary so, and to communicate with oneself and then to start trying to present some of the results to oneself and then talking to your um, team um, to try and explain. And once you've persuaded your team that you've seen something interesting in the data and they can understand what it is, then you have to write up a paper. And so all through this process, the writing takes f first place. You have to sit down and try to think and write very clearly in a sequential way, something that actually you're receiving in a non-sequential way. That is, you have um, a thousand dimensions of perception all of a sudden of what you're seeing, and you're trying to make sense and synthesize it. So writing is the only way we know how to do, to do that. The only way of communicating all this complexity is to have a narrative. So as surprising as it can seem, narrative is an essential element of science papers. We learn from the movie industry, we learn from screenwriters that you can communicate a lot of things by first making diagrams of how the thought process or the reader is going to follow. So very often we sit down with students and we explain that if they're going to prepare an oral presentation, they make a little um, sequence of scenarios like a screenplay and each little slide has an idea in it and you try to make up a scenario. The worst possible way to write is to take a previous text you've already written and cut and pa paste pieces. And the best possible way to write is to write the first draft um, handwritten from scratch and the second draft may be handwritten from scratch because then you're not tempted to reuse little pieces. You have to go back to the source, which is, you know, inside you and try and get that out in a one flow. I think technology has distorted the text that we publish. And you can see it, I'm afraid, there are various tools on the web where you can look at the similarity between texts of the same author and you'll see that they have large percentages of texts which are cut and pasted. So I'm not saying that we all plagiarize, but even plagiarizing yourself is a mistake. And so to rewrite from scratch is a gift and you should use it. 
Nobody ever came out with a first draft that was worth anything. None of us. And so we write many, many different drafts and we try to improve it. And the ideas were there at the start, but the communication and the ease with which the reader reads it only can be developed in time. Our students are mostly very, very good at mathematics, and we realize that one of, their basic, one of the basic parts of their training is the communication with people from outside the field. So they take the data, they translate the problem into a mathematical and statistical problem, they analyze the data, and then they have to say back to the person in their language something that they could understand. Most of our work is communicating um, to people from outside our field.